It sounds like he's getting it. Really yeah. One person's waste My goodness. is another person's essential service. He's got it. Yeah. We're finding therapy. common ground. But then Sweet. single payer, it's not an all or nothing choice. It's Shh. <laughs> Vox did another healthcare video relatively recently. You know, it was called The Real Reason American <laughs> Healthcare is So Expensive. That's what we needed. Let me ask you this about Vox. Question of the day. Do you agree with Gerald's assessment on Vox and that when they release videos now, they just pray to God that nobody does research uh, nor watches this show? <laughs> <laughs> um, it has gotten to the point where they just try to slide it in there. Now, yeah. let me give them credit here with this, and, and we'll do a point-by-point -point rebuttal. They yeah. actually do offer some solutions. So their argument is this is why American healthcare is so expensive, and then they, they do offer, usually they just criticize and kind of like John Oliver, yeah. and so we yeah. want to give credit where it's due. They found a new Metro Elf boy to offer <laughs> yes. solutions. Yeah, they got they got rid of the... Uh, the turnover the, rate is the, the gay, very high. The, the gay semi cuban <laughs> Let's roll, roll first clip. <laughs> America's government spending on healthcare, on programs like Medicaid and Medicare and the VA, our versions of socialized medicine, it's about the same size as these other countries. These countries where the government runs the whole healthcare system. No, no, no. Okay, this is right <laughs> off the bat. Listen. Same size. They're conflating size and percentages. This is really yeah. important for people to note. So hint, the United States total total cost of healthcare, total spending on healthcare, or if you want to use GDP, I don't know that exact chart what they're using. It's very different from New Zealand or Portugal or Norway. Yeah. Also, by the way, do you know why it's different? Do you know why it's different? Because military. Because Sweden on that map, they need our military to protect them from Anybody, Boom. everyone on that map, map benefits from the United States military. That's what. That's why they don't. They don't pay for their own military, so they can piggyback off of all the innovation and great cool stuff that we. That's us. The land of cool stuff. You're welcome. Stop conflating percentages and size. Let's get into more. Next clip. It's the private insurance system that makes healthcare in America so expensive. Conventional wisdom yeah, yeah, says but... that the government is more expensive than the private sector. And yet here we are with the biggest private sector spending the most. Why is a free market so bad at <sighs> oh controlling boy. the cost of healthcare oh, in the United here we go. States? Very simple answer, because it's not the free market's job to control the cost. And this is something that they do a lot. They go back to just oh, uh, cost, cost. They, the biggest lie ever told, and you see this from Young Turks and their, these other atheist channels that are that are more liberal leaning, say, well, more people are satisfied with their healthcare. No, no. This is in this entirely stems from subjective standards. How do you feel about your healthcare? If you give yeah. someone a, mm -hmm. a, a sandwich with flecks of human feces in it, but it's free, they'll probably like that sandwich more than a sandwich that's fecal matterless, but mediocre at best if somebody <laughs> paid for it. So that's important. They're only talking here about the cost. It's not the private sector's job to control the cost, but to provide the best services, to provide the most innovation, to provide uh, healthcare available to, to many different people, all kinds of different options, whether they're lower cost or higher cost, premium healthcare services. Some examples, I, I think three separate analyses, yeah, concluded that 85% mm -hmm. of the drugs approved by the FDA since 1988 arose solely from research and development performed in the private industry. Berkeley, Berkeley cites that 75% of clinical trials are privately funded. That doesn't come cheap. If your only standard is, why are they spending so much and you're not taking this into account, you're not going to see the whole picture and sometimes that's by design. Yeah, yeah and they start out bashing the free market, like healthcare is void of government interference and it's a free market yes. model that we should look at to see if it's, it's working. It's an unregulated wild serious? west. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Don't you know people can just sell least, you healthcare in the streets? At least be intellectually honest here in your first point. You can get healthcare online without a background check. Yeah, okay. Next clip. <laughs> we don't go to the doctor more than the Germans or the Japanese. In fact, we go to the doctor less. The difference between us and them is that we pay more. Every time we go to the doctor for everything from an angioplasty to a hip replacement, from a C-section to a pain reliever, in America, the price for the same procedure at the same hospital, it varies enormously depending on who is putting the bill. All right, so again, this is the yeah. thing. You notice it keeps coming back to He just keeps talking about how we pay more. Mm -hmm. And this is important. I want you to see a whole picture. Okay, if you pay more, that's only a portion of any transaction. If you go and purchase anything at a store, right? Yeah. Let's say I go, I go and I pay $10. What's your next question? For what? What'd you get? For <laughs> what? The other part of it, there you go. What's the it's quality? It's simple. <laughs> Look, we're paying X. For, we're paying X amount of money, and it's too many X's. Yeah. What for? Let's, no, let's just look at the look charts. At the bill. The, the, the yeah. chart. Are our results better than, say, South Africa? Spain yeah. included in the charts? Or, or, or did maybe many of those procedures or drugs get invented in the private sector? The United States yeah. leads in creation of new jugs. Uh, jugs. Well, that, <laughs> whoa, that's whoa. true. Whoa. That falls under elective. <laughs> they lead in the creation of new drugs and publications of medical research. It's a different chart. 
<laughs> Studies show that health service patients are 45% more likely to die in British hospitals in the United States. And I've Jeez. talked about this many times. Wait times in Canada for hospital beds, they're, they're, they're close to nine hours. The NHS failed to reach its goal of a four-hour wait. The goal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Four-hour wait times in the ERs. What time in the U.S.? It's about two hours. So again, it, don't just look at the one portion of the equation. How much are you spending? What are you getting for that? What is the rest of yeah. the world getting from privately funded health care? I get it. You don't like paying for stuff. Everyone likes free stuff. We like the party favors. We like the loot bag. But uh, that does not national health care policy make. Next clip. The price for someone with public insurance, like Medicare or Medicaid, is often the lowest price. These groups, they cover so many people that the government can demand lower prices from hospitals and doctors, and they get those lower prices. If the doctors and hospitals say no, they lose a ton of business. This, that's a bad thing. That's a, th that's yeah. a bad thing. One third of doctors now won't accept new, net, new Medicaid patients, and it's getting worse. If you look at the yeah. trend, fewer and fewer doctors are accepting Medicaid and Medicare. Why? Because like you just said, if the hospitals don't accept it, they won't last. Just It's, it's like, okay, this mug, all right, it's $69 annually if you're a student. I'll give you 20. <laughs> yeah, but we can't afford that though. It's six because we have server costs and we have you yeah. know, 12 employees at $69. No. I'm going to give you 20. Yeah. Well, no, thank you. Only the person saying, I'm going to give you 20, holds a gun to your head, says, by the way, you're taking 20. That's a good <laughs> thing. That's why doctors just stop working. And they don't, they say, you know what? Don't open the door. Uh, that, that guy comes in. He always offers me 20. He only offers you 20. Yeah. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Next, Next clip. One study found that most hospitals charge uninsured patients four times as much as Medicare patients for an ER visit. Okay, a couple of reasons. Uh, <laughs> wrong in so many ways. So one thing, no one wants to talk about this, many uninsured people use the ER as effectively their healthcare plan. Right. You can't be refused in emergency rooms. Right. The last thing they ask for is your healthcare info. Illegal immigrants in the United States, for example, go in, get care, leave. Never pay. Sayonara. That's it. <laughs> they never pay. Adios. Think about this. So There's many no people never pay. They just no walk social. Out. Yeah, but the difference is with Why illegal immigrants, you? no social Why security number, right. no credit issues. You've it's just no it's free them. care. Yeah. So that's the reason that ERs are incredibly in hospital. A lot of these hospitals are incredibly expensive. Compare the cost of services, say, at an ER with providers who exclusively in the United States, in the United States particularly. I was from Canada. I didn't know this existed. Yeah. Deal with like cash only patients. Yeah. So cash only doctors. I have a ca I have a healthcare plan that's catastrophic care, and I go to a cash doctor. Okay, cash only uh, MRIs is a good example. I've done this many times. Insurance would have paid two, three times the amount for the MRI uh, that I paid when I went mm -hmm. and I paid for it myself. Okay. Anyway, next, next, next clip. Other countries, they, they don't have this problem. Instead of every private insurance company negotiating with every healthcare provider, there's just this big list. The country, the central government, they go and they say, if you want to sell to us, to all of our people, then here's what you can charge for a checkup. Here's what you can charge for an MRI or a prescription for Lipitor. And so then whether that bill goes to the heavily regulated private insurance companies in Germany or directly to the government, like <laughs> in the UK, sounds bad. each country is telling the doctor or hospital or drug company how much that bill will be. And because the government uh, controls access to all of the customers, what? it's an offer of That's the hospitals and doctors and That sounds really bad. Is he typically can't refuse? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh my God. <laughs> that got real bad real fast. Fox just supported price fixing. He even yeah. implied that the practice is mobster like, which it it's is. Good. Yeah. But it's okay so long as the government does it. It's a little off. probably thought American History X was a family film about <laughs> uplifting moral values. Like, the government can step in if they don't accept Medicaid and curb stomp. <laughs> With some effective. Apple Loops yeah. tracks playing in the background. Oh, and by the way, what is this? What is this rate fixing do for oh. our? I don't know. Say doctors. Well, in Can Canada, we just it was really hard. It took years just to get a family doctor. Yeah. In the UK, since there's a very low ceiling to what they can make, as apparently is virtuous according to Vox, <laughs> from 2008 to 2012, more than 8,000 doctors left the UK. And by the way, That's the only lot. reason that that, that the, the other countries can price fix on drugs is because of places that don't. Allowing for the innovation, the creation of new drugs. Let's let's say the government said, hey, 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 listen, okay, all right. The price that people are gonna pay for your new cancer treatment, it can only, it's gonna be a hundred bucks. That's it, you can't yeah. charge more. But, it, but it, it costs billions of dollars to create. Don't care, that's the cost. That's the offer you can't refuse. Guess what? 
the companies that create research, the companies that innovate, mm. they're going to create zero new cancer treatments. There's no incentive yeah. to go in. So we burden the cost, the private sector burdens the cost, and then these other countries piggyback off of them and provide it at a subsidized rate. That doesn't mean that somewhere down the line, somebody didn't invest in creating new, better healthcare. You need that to keep this afloat, just like you need the United States military to keep Canada from being invaded from, I don't know, anyone. Next clip. Under a single payer system, if we did drive prices down, doctors and hospitals, they would be paid less than they are right now. That oh. might mean some of them close or some go out of business or some move. It sounds like It'd he's getting really it. Yeah. One person's waste is another person's essential service. He's got it. Yeah. Hospital. We're finding common ground. But then Sweet. single payer, it's not an all or nothing choice. It's for instance, <laughs> <laughs> so close. And then he brings Bernie into this. We, okay. Don't do it. Turns out everything we talked about was completely unnecessary because they admit <laughs> our counters were like, well, yeah, hold on a second. You're going to lose doctors. Hospitals yeah. are going to close down. Check. Care is going to be worse off. Confirm. And like, yes, yes, yes. But here comes the socialism. Oh. <laughs> and in that plan, he expands Medicare to cover vision and dental, and he opens it to nearly everyone, not just people <laughs> 65 and older. Oh, All boy. kids go on Medicare automatically, and most adults can buy in. It's a dream that world. Plan, There's positive honestly, music. It wouldn't get American yeah. health care spending <laughs> far down overnight, but it would at least begin to recognize what we already know and what most other countries already do, that health care is one of those things the government can do cheaper and better than the private yes. sector. Uh, but only, but you just said none of those things are true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fewer doctors than ever are accepting these government forms of health care. Medicaid yeah. in particular. Medicare is going to be catching up really soon. The solution here is, yeah, hospitals are going to close down. Yeah, we're going to lose doctors. But we do know that if we put everybody onto a system that's effectively bankrupt and we have to invade <laughs> slush funds in order to support, it's going to work out eventually. <laughs> and it doesn't work precisely because of, like you said, the, the, the red tape and the costs associated with health care. It is unreal to me that they can concede all of the territory, everything that we talked about in this video, and they don't care anyways because they believe that the government can somehow do it better than it's been doing it. Here's the deal. It, 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 it's, a good, it's a good measurement, yeah. right? Yeah. You've got Medicare. You've got Medicaid. Okay, yeah, we have problems with the we have way more problems with third party insurers than we've had than ever, ever before. I'll give it to them. Yeah. But who's doing better? Where do you where yeah. do you have better options right now? We're not doing the thing that they try and do when they're trying to obfuscate all of their, you know, their, their, their information, their facts, to, because they don't want you to do the research. I'm not saying this is an issue that's way more nuanced than, no, listen, they're not showing the complete picture, okay? Right. Obviously, everything is more nuanced than you can fit into a video if it's less than five hours long. Everything is more nuanced <laughs> than you can fit into a YouTube clip or even onto the full version of the show. What is not nuanced, what does not require subtlety to understand is that this entire video only discusses costs. It does not discuss quality of service. This is one thing. If you're looking to yeah. argue your point, if you're looking to have this conversation with somebody, usually not from a country that has socialized healthcare, mind you, okay? Usually people who come from socialized healthcare, they go, we'll give you that one. It's better here. <laughs> your hotels are like hospitals. I thought, I thought it was at a Marriott. Turns out I just broken my arm and woken up on morphine. It is nice here compared to where I was raised in Montreal. You need to, when discussing this issue, and I would love to have someone from Vox on this show to discuss it, pin them down on quality of care and make sure that quality of care is measured by objective outcomes and not subjective polls asking people, how do you feel about your health care? When you frame that in and you're, okay, let's get outside of costs. Let's get outside of what people think about crappy health care because they're not paying for it and they live in socialized hell holes. What are the actual objective outcomes of health care? It is a losing issue for them. It's a losing issue for them internationally. It's a losing issue for Vox domestically if you actually compare Medicare, Medicaid, and the private sector. And it sucks! You mediocre <laughs> nothing! Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. It's, at, it's in a, a circle now. It used to be a square, which most buttons aren't squares. Unless it's on a phone. There are square buttons on phones, but most buttons are circles. You understand what I'm talking about. Or watch the recommended video, which is popping up in a box. Or subscribe at ladderwithcredit.com slash mugclub. Join the mugclub so you can get the daily show. And that means that you are not beholden to the YouTube censoring overlords. But let's be honest. You like being there where you are, under their thumb. Power bottom you.